We've got a segment we do. We do bring this back, which is sex, elect, overthrow. Works like fuck, marry, kill. Um, and, you know, we usually do politicians or, I don't know, Fox News hosts, et cetera, which is always fun um, and awful. But this is a little different. I kind of like our choices this evening. Um, given that there are a number of shows right now on the streaming services about different con artists, seems to be the renaissance of the con artists, um, which I much prefer to the true crime renaissance, not into murderers, con artists, a little more interesting. I want to know, who would you guys sex elect overthrow when it comes to... Uh, in, in, when it comes to Anna Delvey, the Tinder swindler, or Elizabeth Holmes, this is Sex Elect Overthrow. Anna Delvey of Inventing Anna scammed banks, but also socialites, also her friends. Did they deserve that? Did she get them free champagne often? Hmm, I don't know. She's got a terrible accent. And I can't do it. But after you see the show, you cannot stop doing it. It's like really, really hard to stop. It's you like can Brit totally do it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's British, but also a Valley Girl, but like um, yeah. um, German as well. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay, so we got Anna Delvey. We've got Tinder Swindler. So uh, uh, Shimon Hayut, who convinced women uh, he was dating to give them money because he convinced them he was like some big time diamond like <clears throat> diamond dealers or like some some rich guy roll up in like a private jet take them wine them and dine them and then be like oh my god they're after me the bad guys because i'm really important can you open a credit card for me and then they would open a new account and then do the same thing over again with another woman. So just kind of like leap, lily padding and leapfrogging from scam to scam to scam, which honestly to me sounds like a lot of work. So I'm going to give him some credit there. Or, and she's also the subject of a Hulu show, which is honestly one of my favorites, uh, The Dropout, Elizabeth Holmes of Theranos, of just one drop of blood. And I can test you for all of these things. Um, can you test for sociopathy? Because that's what you have. Crazy bitch. Um, no. So what do we think? Who do we sex, send sexy text messages to? Allay their, you know, hot and bothered feelings. Uh, elect them to office. Or done, overthrow, gone. Memory shoot. Trey? Um, oh, yeah. no, Lena, whichever, whoever wants to go. <laughs> um, I would sext um, Elizabeth Holmes because... I don't know. I mean, at least she she didn't steal from the poor, as far as <laughs> I know. And that's probably the one redeeming thing is she, uh, you know, defrauded investors. But that's uh, admittedly, I didn't wa watch any of these shows, but I'm, you know, no, it's cool. You can go on your gut. So you sex Elizabeth Holmes. Who do you elect and who do you overthrow? I elect um, Anna Delvey because her promises are, you know, I'm going to wire you money, you know, like they are, <laughs> as, I mean, you might as well elect her because she's as worth, her promises are as worthless as so many of our politicians. So she will be right at home with them. I'm going to wire you the relief money. It's coming Thank through. You. Once my inheritance Thank kicks you. in, you're going to have the COVID relief. <laughs> It's basically, that's what our government does already. You're totally right. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and overthrow um, the Tinder swindler because he served, what, like five fucking like months in prison in Israel, which, you know, holds Palestinian children for, you know, months or years in indefinite det administrative detention in military prison um, without charges. So he... Um, he, he should be overthrown. There he is. But look at his bleach blonde tips. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, a good 90s uh, boy band, uh, you know. I mean, that face is so trustworthy, but it definitely isn't the face of a millionaire. I'm like, I don't, mm -mm, you don't have money. Trey, what about you? Who are we thinking? On the left, Anna Delvey. In the middle, yeah. Tinder Swindler. On the right, Elizabeth Holmes. 
Oh, I don't know. I guess I would try to sex Dana Delvey, but I don't think she would <laughs> go for that because I'm trash and she don't uh, she don't traffic with trash. So I probably wouldn't have much <laughs> much success on that front. Uh, but and elect. I mean, I don't want to elect any of them, but I mean, I feel like Elizabeth Holmes is absolutely Senate material in this country. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she seems like a senator type to me, uh, based on how our senators be. <laughs> sort of just had a totally bullshit idea that she got everybody to give her a bunch of, you know, investment capital for it's very American, American dream writ large right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I guess her and overthrow, does it mean is the implication that you then take their place? Cause that's what Ooh. I think when I think overthrow. Oh, I like that. You know what I mean? Cause it's still the tender swindler. Cause you know, I wouldn't mind lying my way onto some rich girl's boat or whatever he was doing. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, no, I mean, I'm just kidding. Fuck that guy too. But um, yeah, that's my answer either way. Okay. That's but really that, good. But is that your intention though with overthrow? Like, cause when I, I heard overthrow, it's... I interpreted it as replace. You oh, know, I like that. I like the and replace. Right. Because, like depose. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Like, like install a, a new yeah yeah yeah, right. yeah. no <laughs> i think overthrow is just it done Get it doesn't rid ma- of. we have okay. no plan for what comes next it's sort of a sure. free-for-all well it's still um, that guy <laughs> it's still that guy okay so yeah. we overthrow him we're making is it delvey's no no uh holmes is senate yeah no yeah. I, I see yeah. that holmes is mm-hmm. absolutely could lie her way into the senate for sure see that's i i i do think if we're going with skill And it comes to electing. Obviously, the cynical part of me is like, it's got to be Delvey or Holmes because they are in my, I don't, I want to know who's the biggest sociopath. This is my thing. I don't know who the biggest sociopath is. I know that Delvey is still convinced of her own lies. I think, here's what I will say. Mm, This is hard. Is it between the two of them or the three of them that you're deciding? I'm, I'm, they're all in play for me, but here's what I will say. I'm going with this. Um, obviously, okay. Elizabeth Holmes needs, needs a second chance. I think she (laughs) poor, like obviously people got hurt. People definitely got hurt. Uh, if, if, if the show is real, even one of her scientists, committed suicide because he was in a horrible position because of one of the researchers. That being said, I would say you're right. She's electable. She let's give her another chance. She can do some, some like magic hat trick. No, I don't. I fucking hate Elizabeth Holmes. God damn it. Yeah. I, I don't like her hate... either. I said I didn't want to elect any of them. I'm just saying okay, I could okay. see she would fit right in on Capitol okay. Hill. Uh, okay, let's saying. let's go. <laughs> let, let's overthrow overthrowing Elizabeth Holmes. We're done. Put her out of her misery. She's never going to be Steve Jobs. We're going to sex the tind- Tinder swindler because I really would like to go on a private jet too. Like it'd be fun. Mm. I don't know. We could go to the Super Bowl. I don't know where we would go. We go somewhere dope. Um, but like, I'm not going to open you a bank account, dude, but let me hold your money for a little bit. Um, and then you elect Anna Delvey because she scammed banks and socialites and similar to what Lena said, they kind of deserved it. I do think she'd be, she'd be Trumpian in like, Mm -hmm. in a way maybe I could get down with like. So I'm not that familiar with, I watched Inventing Anna. I didn't watch the other two shows. I remember when they were actual stories and heard about them. So I'm sure they're like, I didn't know about the scientists killing themselves. I'm sure there's a lot of shit I'm overlooking here. Yeah. Or just am ignorant about, but I, all three of them, their primary victims were like mostly rich people. Right. What weren't they like they defrauded and fucked over rich people. If, cause if that's true, I don't really care too much. Frankly, they're all that's- three pieces of shit. But I'm not going to lose any sleep over someone getting, you know, screwed out of their art collection or whatever the hell happened. Like Elizabeth Holmes, <laughs> arguably, you know, there are people who were given false positives on their blood work. And like that was, you know, the harm right. that was done. Well, yeah, well, that ain't cool. But the reason Obviously. these people have shows in the first place is precisely because of what you're saying, Trey. Yeah. Because the number of people who scam the elderly out of their retirement savings on a like right. random phone call, like 
so many of those but that is a very depressing series that nobody yeah. wants to watch and it's like oh man nana lost all her money like you know like nobody wants to watch that shit did you see that movie i care a lot did you see no, that no netflix movie <laughs> Yeah, so Rosamund Pike is one of those people that you're talking about. Oh, and it's okay. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's weird because it's like you're supposed to be rooting for it certain parts. She's like an anti-hero, but there's no hero. She's just fucking over old people and it's just a colossal piece of shit. But it's like you're supposed It's a weird movie. Not okay, a huge fan. Okay, anyway, okay. I apologize for that. I should have known of that, of course, a streaming service was already going to do a dramatized <laughs> yeah. version of exactly what I just said. Yeah, they did. Um, well, anyway... Yeah. But it's telling that, like, we haven't seen it or heard about it, but we know about Inventing Anna in the Tinder mm -hmm. Center, so. Inventing Anna, as we, we talked about this before the show, too many episodes, little too long, and my God, like, I, I just, they come away, the main journalist and the lawyer come away just, like, fawning over her and actually loving her. She didn't even buy them champagne or handbags. Mm-hmm. You didn't, you just, she was just captivating you. Anyway, I, Shonda Rhimes, you're great, but I have problems with this series. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.